pride of Dagestan and Manchester. He's our old friend, Mohammed Mokhaev, who is joining us from Bahrain. Hello, Mohammed. Salam alaikum, my friend. Alaikum. How are you, Arin? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine. I just like, I'm, I'm in Bahrain right now. Uh, Prince of Bahrain invited me for the event in Bahrain Brave CF. Came as a guest. Must be nice. Get a nice little invitation from the Prince of Bahrain. Good accommodations there for you? Oh, good. <laughs> for me, accommodation doesn't matter for me. Like, uh, it's, it's my people. I'm not like a, like a guest, but I'm, I'm, I'm here to support my people. Give them support back too. What was it like to fight uh, in the UAE again? Uh, did you feel the love from the people? Was it an experience that, you know, I'm sure you had dreamed of? And did it live up to what you were dreaming of? To be honest, it's like one of the best places, like best best place I ever been. You know, like an arena wise, like it was crazy support. It was like uh, from Kazakhstan, people, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Russia, United Kingdom. A lot of people travel to for this event. It's crazy because no need visa for Abu Dhabi, right? So right. Everyone is traveling there. Uh, did you feel uh, possible? I don't know. You tell me more love there than you did when you fought. In England, the last two times, hard to say because each fight I'm growing. Yeah, like my fan base growing, so I cannot say like UK fans were louder than Hawaii or Hawaii like uh, Middle East. Is, is I have like it's just amount of support is grows uh, each fight. Do you feel a big difference in that? You know, they always talk about the octagon jitters. Your first one was super short. The second one goes long. Now, like, do you feel like now you're a veteran? Uh, and it's crazy to say you're you're 22, but like, do you feel so much more? This is my house. I'm used to this. I've been through the whole experience. Dramatically different from, you know, March or even July. Yes, Ariel, this is my like third fight in six months, six, seven months, right? And um, like, I'm, I'm staying back to back training every day. When I go inside the cage, I, I, it's, it's, it's like a sparring day for me. I train all week. If you look my episodes on YouTube, I start creating now. Like on the fight week, morning and night, I have training. I have like sparring. I have like just normal week for me. And Saturday is just like a sparring day, and Friday is is a weight cut day. So I mean Thursday. So it's it's normal week for me, like normal fight week. I thought it was interesting. You said uh, you maybe kind of underestimated him a little bit, and um, you know you you said that in the post fight interview. So what were you expecting? And what were you surprised by? To be honest, I really, if you realize when I when I took him down on the ground, uh, I, I I went to I want to finish him too fast with guillotine, and they found out my game. That was was the game to finish him. And in in, in the interview, I said I'm gonna finish him in first round by some vision. So he was like he was more defensive. And then when when he fought, I got tired in third round, and he he was worried about like triangle and 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 guillotine defense. He forgot about Amba, mm. which he's good at. So I caught him with the arm. So it's okay. Uh, did you feel like all the time, you know, you were such a massive favorite and, and even you were talking about finishing him and whatnot. Is that added pressure? Like, is there, is it necessary to put that pressure on yourself? Because I feel like you say it and then people are like, oh, you got to go out and do it. And if you don't do it, even though you win 30 to 27, all of a sudden people are like, ah, you didn't live up to what you were saying, right? Maybe... I don't know. Maybe don't put that pressure on yourself. I I don't like what pressure. Have you seen when? Have you seen me when I walk out to the cage? Like I remember for my debut, my coaches were worried. Like you, you off your concentration when you like see the fans. I'm like, listen, I enjoy this moment. I love this moment. And uh, like, I believe, I believe if I fight again, Michael Malcolm Gordon, I, I probably finish him in first round. Mm. You know what I mean? So there's. There's nothing like I took it to third round. I had to work out. Sometimes I give my back because I see like 10 seconds less left. Okay, I'll give him because I was confident. Nobody will finish me, you know, like especially I don't care. Like I give my back to Black Belt and he couldn't finish me. Mm. So I feel confident, you know. It, it, and uh, I love the atmosphere when I walk out. It gives me like crazy energy. I, I know this is a weird question to someone who is so dominant, but did you feel like you needed the finish? After the last fight, so that people can't say, "Uh, oh, you know, boring this that." You you know, you hear the 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 naysayers. Did you feel like you needed that to shut them up? No, I could finish him. I could finish as decision. What whatever they say, when 
I'm one step closer to my dream. And I remember I said this, I'm going to be most active fighter, take the belt. And uh, I'm very, very close to my goal. I believe I'm like one fight from like maybe interim belt. I want to fight straight away like top 10 guys. If people think I'm a boring fighter, I'm not deserve top 10 guys. Who deserves them? Show me who deserves. Like I'm most active flyweight on the roster. And I agree to fight anyone in division. I don't pick and choose opponents. And Malcolm Gordon was two fight win streak. You know what I mean? So if it was up to you, who would be next? Like uh, Royval, I called him out, but now he got Amir Albazi. So right. winner of these guys, I want to fight. Or loser of these guys, I want to fight in UK. I don't care. Like they, they're all, both in top 10. So I believe it's like 50 50 fight, but I think. I think Amir a little bit uh, uh, got chance to wrestle, but I, I want to see Amir wrestle against me <laughs> in 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 UK. I love the idea of you versus Jeff Molina. I, I can bet, like I don't bet, but I can like tell you, like he no, he doesn't want to fight with me because after my fight in UK, I came to make matchmaker of UC downstairs in the lobby. And there was Jeff Malin's manager next next to him, and I said, "Let's fight in Abu Dhabi." And he says, "No, no, he's not. He don't want. He don't want to fight in Abu Dhabi." How does he know what Jeff Malin wants? Mm. Manager doesn't want. To, Jeff Malin doesn't want to, and he's got the match up. But I think this will be easiest guy in top fifteen, Jeff Malina. Easiest guy. We both young. Jeff Malina. Easiest. Yes, he will be easy or easiest opponent for me out of all my career because he's young. Last my opponent was like 32, 31 years old. And I will show what I can do with people the same age as me if I dominate people like 10 years older than me. So you think one more fight and you're in the title picture? Very close. I'm, one more fight, I will be top, top like six. Yeah. And, and, and so you'll, you'll be very close to beating that record, right? Of, of John Jones, youngest champion. You've wanted 100%. this. And you think the UFC... Do you believe this? Do you believe this, Aaron? Do I believe what? Do you believe I will fight for the belt next year? I think you can, yeah. Especially at how active you are. I think if you get uh, one more, it could be tough. Only because the, the title fight is January, so that's still like three yeah. months away. And then you would think the winner would be ready to fight, I don't know, May or something, right? So I th yeah. end of next year, right? End of 2023 is possible. And when do you turn 2023? Yes. I'm 2023. 23 in July next year. Okay. So I, I've got I've got till 2024 end of the March. So I, I will be ahead of my goal. Golly, end of March is is of 2024 is the deadline. Yes, maybe oh I fight. God. Maybe I defend the belt in UK. Yeah. You might you might win the belt and defend the title. Uh, there there is talk of uh, April March something like that for the Leon. Uh, you know, title defense in the UK is March, that what, March 18th. I heard, yeah. Okay, is that what you want? Yes. To be back on that card? Yes. Okay. Maybe uh, in a stadium or something like that. What are you hearing? Yes. 83,000 uh, capacity in Cardiff, something like this. That's what I heard. Oh, that'd be incredible. Crazy. I know. It's like four times bigger arena than I fought in the last three fights. Unbelievable. So for you, do you feel like uh, you feel like you've improved a lot this year? Like, are you are you happy with the progression of your career from when you debuted in March till now? I really, I, I will say you something. Um, I can say this because all my team seen this. Like ten days before the fight, I had crazy temperature. I spoke to my manager team, and he said we can ask maybe to do catch weight with uh, with this fight for Abu Dhabi, or we might be pull out. I said, listen, please. No, I went to doctors, uh, I take antibiotic, I came to the fight. My concentration level went down because of of the antibiotics. If somebody uses antibiotics and, and like go to training, they will understand what I'm talking about. But I, I don't need to say this because I've been this I had this in the past in my career and I went through that's why I believe in my head I can go there with fifty percent even of my who I am performance and I beat these guys. Like beat anybody in this. 15 guys and I went there that's, that wasn't my 100% performance like I don't know if I don't know yeah yeah so you were you were very sick what was wrong 
I will say, even like, even you, UFC nutritionist uh, Nicola was told, told her, well, uh, I take antibiotics, will it hold my water and stuff like this? I was worried about weight oh. more than more than fight. Wow. And, uh, I, I, I said to my manager, uh, Tim, I said, Tim, I'm still going to make flyweight because people going to say he 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 only did two fights at flyweight, so it will be a waste of the waste of the, my like end of the year. So I will, will make weight. Okay. And uh, and how was the weight cut for you? It was difficult only because antibiotics was holding the water. Yeah. Okay. And how did you feel on fight night? <sighs> I didn't put much weight on. Really, if you compare pictures between me and Charles Johnson when I fought Charles Johnson, how big I was, and for this fight, I wasn't I wasn't same. But it's okay, it's okay. I, I showed I can go there, and I have B plan. Okay, and you didn't sit down between rounds. That's my fifty percent performance. Yeah, very impressive. Yes. Very very impressive. By the way, um, there's always going to be comparisons between you and Khabib because you're both from Dagestan. I know he was there. The whole team was there. Did you see him at all? Did you talk to him at all? Any interactions with him and the team? Yes, he wished us luck and he congratulated us after the fight. We cut weight together in the same room. There was Zubair to hug off his arm and, uh, and all the guys. But yeah, everything's good. I had Rustam Habilov in my corner. The original suplex machine. Everything. Like, like, uh, Everyone help each other, and uh, it was amazing, amazing event to be honest. I really love, I love every every day. I enjoy. It. Nice, yeah. Uh, obviously, we saw uh, Nurmagomedov team and Hamza get into a thing, but then the next day we see them friends. So there's a lot of love in the air over there. Yes, you know where I means anything happens. So only thing I don't like is uh, doing this on the on the public. But anything can happen. Maybe it happens to me tomorrow. I don't know, and uh, and then I feel bad when I come back home and try not repeat the same mistake. Right. And if this happen, can happen to anyone. So where are means? Where are means? People doing worse stuff. Yeah. This is nothing. By the way, they have they have cheesecake factory in Bahrain. Yes, I'm a cheesecake factory. Wow, I didn't know they had that over yeah. there. Is it you get the cheesecake? Yeah. No, I eat only pasta. I want to stay fit. Nothing? You don't even indulge a little bit after a win like that? After, to, to be honest, I read after victory, like uh, before the fight, you want to eat everything. But after victory, you just want to enjoy the moment. Fair enough. Well, enjoy the moment, my friend. Thank you for doing this. I'll let you get back to your dinner. I appreciate it. Uh, congratulations. And I look forward to the next one for you. Yes. Thank you. Shout out to, to my team, KHK, and my management paradigm. Twins Brothers for supporting me. We have the strongest team in the world. Inshallah. Thank you. Take care. There yes, he sir. is. Assalamu alaikum to uh, Mohammed Bukhayev.